Um, so far, I'm encouraged by the support that we are getting. That we should, we we, we should like you know, um, we should remain strong. And um, I just got a call from NTUCB who confirmed that they will be in attendance. I have a lot of Indonesians who are saying that it's no time to back down because at the end of the day, we have had many many years to work this out, and we continue to lose territory. We have to show this nation that we cannot afford to lose the Sun Island or any um, part of the 8867. So um, as it is this weekend, like I said, the NTUCD has committed. We have had commitment from a few other organizations as well. And um, we are going. Might this not be seen as sort of a form of aggravating an already hostile situation? Um, I don't know what would call, what would be called or defined as a repeating a hostile situation when in fact that no one on our expedition carried on, not even knives, and this time not even alcohol. Uh, we're going as peaceful citizens. It is inside of the 8867 square miles. Uh, we have a peace declaration. Uh, we have uh, preachers who have committed to go along with us. So, you know, do prayers as we go, uh, as people wait at the dock. Um, it's nothing but a peaceful event to commemorate a very significant day in Belize's history. 157 years since our borders were defined. Uh, 30th of April 1859 is very significant in our history. And it's a time to commemorate and celebrate the fact that we still have 8867 square miles. At least that is the hope that we have. We have that 8867 square miles without giving up anything. So we will not, I will assure the people that I have been here myself many times. I know where the borderline is at, and from you know, the north side of the deepest point of the Star School River, the midpoint. And, um, you know, it's clearly stated in the treaty. We will not venture into Guatemala. Um, we will not even go on the line itself. Um, we will stay on the Belize side, and as far as I'm concerned, Belize, is for Belizeans, but we should not be dictated by Guatemala to tell us where we could go inside our country. Does this take into consideration uh, the fact that the forward operating base at the mouth of the Star Stone and the officers who are assigned to that particular location will essentially be have will essentially have to work sort of uh, over time, in a manner of speaking, to ensure that all goes well with you guys, seeing as though you're going to be in there in an unwelcome situation? Uh, I would say all this would not have to happen if the, if, um, the forward operating base and the people there and the government um, would just stick to their, what they have preached. 